Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. We're going to go to single Pisces. You know, I've got a few subscribers out there that have been messaging me, leaving comments below the videos. I can't take them back, Cher. You know, they almost destroyed me. I'm still trying to get my footing. I'm still trying to find out who I am. I'm trying to get back to me. I can't take them back. I gotta move on. This reading's for you. Let's find out what spirit has to say. What's coming towards you? Is it a new job? What is it? A new job? New love? We're going to go for the rest of the month of August. Spirit, going to the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. Spirit, let's find out. Single Pisces. I know some of you are hurting. Some of you, some of you just been hurt so bad that you're just saying, I can't go back. What if they come back? Can I resist them? Let's find out what's going on here. Let's get her on and let's get her done. Single Pisces. This reading is for the Pisces that wants to move on. Well, the first thing I have. All right. Oh my God. You know, sometimes Pisces, we're damned if we do and we're damned if we don't. Darlings, I'm telling you. I, I got that. There's some kind of security. There's spirit telling you to stay on course. That There's some kind of spying here. There's somebody that feels this sense of security around you. I really just don't know how to explain it. So let's keep going in the reading and maybe the words will come. But what I got is Pisces, stay on course. Seriously, stay on course, my darlings, because somebody's watching. Who? Who's watching? Who indeed? There it is. The one we were just talking about. Sure, I can't, I can't go back, but I'm afraid I don't have the strength to go back, but please don't let them come back because I know I'll go back. And if I go back, when they come back, then it's, I understand. I understand. I've been there and I've done it. And I'll tell you, my darlings, if I can do it, you can do it. But trumpet. Sounds trumpet temperance or all right. <laughs> I haven't even had a drink today, so <laughs> let's go spirit. <laughs> Judgment <laughs> blares its mighty trumpet. Damn, hard to come out, but this is a good thank you, spirit. This is a confusion. You see that confusion that just happened there? Why did that just happen? Is it because I just got tongue-tied, which sometimes I do? Or was there a reason behind it? Why? Why did that just happen? There was confusion. There was uncertainty. It's like, what card is this? And what the hell does it mean? Spirit kind of went into a, uh, spirit took me on levels there. I, I, like I was, I felt like I was jumping from one level to another level. Confusion. Stay on course. Because I got this feeling, Pisces. That what just happened to me is on its way back to you. Confusion. You're going to be 
no, I, I can't go back, I can't go back, but I want to go back, but I don't want to go back, and confusion, levels, levels of jumping up and down, back and forth, different levels of energy. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Wands. I know you're standing at the crossroads. I know. You tell me. I read the comments below. I, I gotta leave. I gotta get the hell out of here. I know you're standing at the crossroads. But they're not gone. And I think you know they're not gone. Because there's a great possibility that this pain and suffering that you're also feeling could be a knowing. Not only are you having pain and suffering of a regular heartbreak, but it seems more intense. Why? Why does it feel more intense? Fighting with yourself. Now I've got the Queen of Pentacles. And I have the Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Normally I say the Nine of Pentacles. Damn spirit is freaking flying in the room for you type Pisces. Listen, because this is for someone out there. Spirit is telling me. You're fighting you. This is Pisces versus Pisces, right here. This is Pisces standing at the crossroad. Got it wide open for you. You can make a choice. But this is Pisces who's trying to stay on course, but something from the past comes back. There's confusion. There's different levels of jumping back and forth, different levels of vibration, of energy. I gotta go, but can I go? I can't go, but can I go? Fighting with oneself. Fighting with oneself. Fighting against the greater good of oneself. It's hard. Full heart, leap. Just taking that chance. Just jumping in both feet. Trusting. Trusting to take that leap. Right away. See, I want to do a singles read, but right away, where do we go? We go right back into the past. I want you to really think. Yeah, here we go, gang. Okay, so what did I say at the beginning before I even put a card out? Sure, I can't go back. I got to get out of this. They made me into something where I have lost myself. And not just them. I threw myself in there with trust and with love and with compassion. And I also did this to myself. It's, it's not one-sided. It never is. One has to agree. One has to accept. I want you to really, really think. And think hard. And think long. Think and wait. Before you make this jump. Because for this Pisces who's feeling that this person, that this other energy has made them feel like crap, this other energy who comes from the past again. Nightmare and the tower. This is friggin' pain. This is unbelievable pain and suffering, and confusion, and neglect. 
That's what this is. When you got the Nightmare card and the Tower together, I really don't think Pisces, and I think you know, even though it's hard, I want you to stop fighting with you who is screaming inside, inside Pisces, screaming, help me. I think you can hear inside Pisces actually saying, help me. Now, I don't know if you guys ever felt that, but I did. I actually heard a voice within me that said, help me. And I knew that inside Pisces was in a lot of trouble. I've been there and I know what you're going through and it freaking hurts. Pisces. And you know, you know that this is a deceiving energy. I don't want to talk bad about them. And I don't want to talk bad about you. But this is a deceiving energy that you got involved with. Unfortunately, you fell in love with it. If you think the tower you're in now is really bad, wait until this hits you. This is worse than the tower. This is like, I, I want to take my life. That's what this is. Don't go there. Seriously, don't go there. I would sooner go through the heartbreak and the pain and the suffering to get well than to go back and suffer it even greater. This is a smooth talker and a sexy walker. There's no doubt about that. This person knows how to push your buttons and which buttons to push. They know which button to push to make you mad. They know which button to push to make you love them. How to feel sorry for them. How to have compassion for them. They know you inside and out. They probably know you, Pisces, better than you know yourself. The wheel is trying to help you, but it's kind of stuck. Because for the month of August, what I see is the wheel is stuck. There's this, I just can't get both feet on the ground. Pisces, you want to move on? Well, I'm kind of here to tell you. Yeah, move on. It's time. It's time that this was finished. And maybe they're gone right now, but it's not over. So, Pisces, finish it. Checkmate. I win. Say that to yourself. Checkmate. I win. Boy, this is some energy. Oh, my God almighty. All right, so this is what I'm reading. How do they make you feel? Right there. They know what buttons to push. They can come back. They can put a smile on your face. They can make your heart celebrate. Lover's card. Everything right there. Look. But out comes the bastard. There's a final result right there. The ultimate betrayal. Three swords in the heart. Pain. Suffering.
Are they in pain and suffering? I know you're in pain and suffering. They can make you feel so good. They know exactly what to say. Pisces. For the month of August, for whoever this energy is, you're on course right now, standing at the crossroads. You and only you can make that decision. Only you. Go back. When they come, do I go back? Or do I tell them, no, I'm going that way. I'm taking care of me. I'm doing me. If only Pisces. If only you could know thyself as well as this person knows you. If only you could see the love that you have to give. End this. End it. Do a lot of thinking before you take that leap. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. The greater good of what you can be. Because, my darling, you can be all you can be. You are worthy of so much more than this. It's a hell of a reading tonight. Virgo is in the room. Virgo is in the room. So is Cancer. Aries. Virgo is in the room. Gemini. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Scorpio, prominent. Aries, Gemini. Pisces is terrible, terrible reading. I don't want to put it out. I really, I just don't want to put it out. But they're not all fairy tales. And you know, when you listen to this, you'll know whether it's for you or not. So, don't be beating me up here. But for some of you that know if I go back, I just know that it's just going to be hell on earth. Half of me is already gone. Why give the other half? Find another part of you that's missing. The part that you gave away. Get your power back, darling. Pisces, thanks for joining me tonight, darling. Namaste.